Yo, dog. I was hitting left. I'm not sure why you decided to run towards the wall. Okay, and... Last stand. Oh, that is so cheap. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... The last day. Floor number three of the old hard mode bunker. Not exactly excited about this because, as you can see right now, <laughs> I'm fairly low on weapons. I had to go back and grab a couple more weapons. Let me tell you, man. I told you in the last video what I thought about the update, so I'm not going to talk more about that anymore. If you want to know my thoughts about this update, you can check out the last video where I kind of gave you my opinions and what I would change and the things I would add. But, um, good God. Going back to my house and looking at my gun collection now, it is very, very quickly diminishing after doing, like, this is my second bunker run full-time. Let me use this, and I think it might be an exploder. I think. Um, if that's the case, then we might need some heavy-duty firepower. So perhaps we could do that? No, it's just a bloater. Okay. Well, that's kind of alright. It's not the greatest thing in the world. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Don't die, please. I'm about to die because of you. You scumbag who take like a million hits per kill. All right, let's have some food. Luckily, I did bring some extra food just in case. I'm gonna, I'd rather use this and use my bandages. Good God, he's still alive. Good God. So kill him in one hit. It is enough to kill him, right? I don't even know anymore. Nope. Absolutely not. It's enough to kill him now. All right. Let's just attack you here a little bit like this. I know we must run at some point. At some point. Got him. Alright. Let's see here. I'm Honestly, I'm not looking to clear the entire bunker. The only thing I want to do is get enough items to get the dual Berettas. I'm not looking to clear the entire thing. I just want to get the dual Berettas and get it over with. Okay. Let's get our attack in there. He's gonna run. He's a he's a big boy that loves to run now. Switched over to that. Okay. Okay. Do some damage here. Remember, he's gonna turn into Sonic at 150, Falcon. 150 turns into Sonic. And even if he turns into Sonic, what you gotta remember to do is that you're gonna go balls to the wall. You see, he died this time. He didn't punch me because I was using a weapon that's modified, so. If you do have a modified weapon, you can kill him. It doesn't matter the range. It doesn't matter if you use the wall trick or not. Or make him delay when he turns. It's just the extra bit of damage from the modified gun that gives you enough advantage to actually kill him before he gets to you and punches you in the face. So if you use the regular ones, which I was doing with the last video, he will punch you every single time. Okay. Well, that is very good to know. The problem is I don't think this is going to probably survive another one. Or maybe it will. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So he's done at the very least. Continue. How's my hunger and thirst? Eh, we're looking pretty good. Alrighty. Um, over here, we probably have another Exploder and a couple of Fast Biters. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to go down this way. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm not doing the blind one. I already beat the blind one. I honestly don't mind finding the blind one, but right now the rewards aren't really too good for that. I mean, unless I want the head. But right now, the big thing I'm focusing on is going to be the dual Berettas. Um, let me just use up this gun finally. And maybe even this one. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That's okay. Swap over to here. And, wow, he's still alive. He's still alive. By the way, did you guys like my little slow motion zoom in on the last video with this little freaking hitbox over here? <laughs> How crazy was that? When I, when I was editing the video and I decided to slow it down for you guys, I watched what happened and I was like, oh my god, I was nowhere near the, the, the gas or the steam, whatever we're going to call it. I was nowhere near it. So that's the reason why I decided to, like, you know, make fun of it with the last video. I was like, dude, I was nowhere near that thing whatsoever. All right, you scumbag. Look at that. Three shotties on a freaking spitter. It's crazy. It's bananas. Don't you dare blow up. Oh, you're giving me the bad loot, too. You're not even giving me the good stuff. He's giving me the bad loot. Um, let's see. For the next one coming up over here, man, I don't think my armor's gonna make it. I'm killing you guys from out here. 
<laughs> and you know what? It's actually, this is the best spot to kill these guys because you will do full damage because they're behind the fence so they haven't triggered on you. So, this is one of those times that you definitely do want to snipe these guys from the other side of the fence over here. There you go. Full damage. How I miss you. Now, for you, unfortunately, I cannot reach you with this, nor can I reach you with a modified gun, more than likely. No. So, we're going to have to use the... Uh, not you. I'm going to use uh, a regular old... Well, we're using up this one here, aren't we? Yeah. There we go. No Speedy's Gonzalez Sonic the Hedgehog moment for you, buddy. And the other guy over there is the Exploder, if I'm right. Okay, well, at least two of them are down. All right, buddy. Do that. No! Don't switch targets. Don't do it this way. Look, they, they actually merge into one. I'm naked. And I'm dead. So let's see here. We have a couple of these guys over here. We'll use katanas and we'll use that as well. I mean, as much as melee kind of sucks now in hard mode. Unless I really, really have to. I'm not going to do it. Alright, I shouldn't even be sneaking. You can't sneak attack these guys anyway. See? Gamma. Gamma. One of them's down. Two of them's down. Alright. Hmm. Probably don't want to use that just yet. I do want to pick that up, though. Got a red ticket as well. Got a frenzy giant behind that thing. Now, for the frenzy giant, I, I think the, the, the modified gun should have enough for just one more dude at the very least. Excuse me, my old body. Do you mind giving me a couple of heals there? Thank you very much. Okay, we'll do that. Oop. Right, I'm supposed to switch over to... Modified gun down here. Yeah, I know it's gonna happen, but that's fine. Alright, so um let's see, we should probably drop the heels that I got over here, so in case I die suddenly. That doesn't go to complete waste, so we got one more bandage there just in case. What do you got for me? Notebook? Excellent, now we got the spot for it. So the only thing we need spots for now is gonna be the, the red tickets and the... the little gasoline canister. What is this thing called? Fuel thing? What the heck is this? The gun oil, gun oil, right. Now hopefully in these boxes over here we get a couple of extra... trust items too. I don't think that's enough for the level up just yet, so we still need to get a couple more. I was hoping these boxes... the boxes can give you some items too. Particularly the ones in the corner over there. Do drop quite a few of those. You over here are not gonna help me though. Thanks a lot, buddy. Means a lot. So this is red ticket and gun oil, and we have one more explorer to deal with. Please stop um, shoot when I tell you to shoot, okay? If you don't shoot when I tell you to shoot, then things happen. Really terrible things happen. Oh! Dude, why'd you aggro the turret? Whew. Scary. That's never happened to me before, ever. <laughs> I've never shot the turret from over here before. Oh boy. That was terrifying. I thought I was about to get lit up by the turret, too. Alright, so he's dead now. Great. Let's go and check out what's in those bodies over here. Frenzy Giant, give me a notepad, baby. That's not a notepad. Alrighty. Another Frenzy Giant back over there. Should we deal with him now? I guess we probably should. We can survive one hit. I'm gonna survive a punch, right? He doesn't... he hits you for like 60-something. With full armor. Yeah, I should be able to survive it, I think. If not, then... uh-oh. Falcon made a boo-boo. We're fine. Get out of there! Stop hanging out, bro. Look at this guy, just leaning back. Just chilling like a cholo. Alright, what do you got in over here, buddy? Any more items for me? Let's see, any heals? Z. Got that one bandage back over on my body. Ah, nothing good again. Whatever, let's just start using these over here. I ain't about to go back for just one band-aid. Try to conserve some of my guns at the very least here. We're almost at the home stretch, though. At this point, um... 
Oddly enough, I find this part of the bunker a lot easier than the first area. Because with the first area, you have to run through the, the gassy stuff very often, and that could be kind of really problematic. This over here, though, it becomes a little bit easier. Assuming you don't go through that big room with all the zombies in there, that is a big problematic room. Uh, here I have another exploder, though. Let me drop that heal. The exploder should not trigger on me just yet. But, you know what, let's deal with him first, and then we'll deal with the Frenzy Giant afterwards, because the Frenzy Giant worries me now. That one. Weapon broke. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? Yo, dog, I was hitting left. I'm not sure why you decided to run towards the wall. Okay, and... Last stand. Oh, that is so cheap. But you saw what happened, right? He went for the swing, instead of it blowing up. I killed him, and as I was killing him, he decided to do the explosion animation. So there's no reason why I should have died in that one. And that's what happened to me off-camera, too, which is what I was t trying to explain to you guys last time, with the last video, about that weird bug glitch. And it happened again. So, apparently... It's still slightly risky to kill the Exploder, even with an automatic if he's close by, because something like that might happen. Because that, there was no way that should have killed me, obviously. They're over there on my body, it seems, huh? Okay, good. Yeah, those parasites absolutely did not show up. Did not show up. That dude blew up. Actually, he didn't even blow up. He decided to go for a swing instead, and then afterwards, when he died, he decided to release parasites. Which is not how it's supposed to work out, man. Okay, luckily, I think hopefully everything is here. Uh, no, Patsy, everything seems to be here. Oh boy, I was worried I was going to lose something here. That's alright. At this point, I've... I've come to the conclusion that... I don't have a fully modified gun to deal with this guy in one single blow. Do that. Okay. Get a little shot in there. Why not? And we're switching over to that. How you doing, big boy? Huh? Just hanging out, aren't you? Just hanging out. Get that punch in. There you go. Good on you. He's gonna punch me once before he dies, you know? It's actually kind of good, you know? Whenever, if you're gonna die, you wanna go down swinging, you know? You don't just wanna just take it. Be like, you know what, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna just lay here and take it. No, this guy's going down swinging. So I kind of commend him a little bit on that. It's slightly something to look up to. Let me use that over here. What do we got? Oh, go! yeah, we got a notepad, finally. Now, the one over here, I like to mess around with this guy and run around here. You can actually get him stuck here if you run around, because he'll be, like, confused. He'll run through here, then he'll run through there. Um, I'll give it a try if I can, but it can be a little bit risky. Plus, I, I also did that with the modified gun, so that's the reason why it didn't hit me. Now he gets to you no matter what, so probably shouldn't even risk it. This gun's about to break, so we'll probably have to switch twice, I would say. But I'm still going to sneak attack just because I'm um, trying to conserve some gun durability here. Alright, bad boy. How you doing? So yeah, I would used to run around over here and attack him that way. But since I don't have a fully modified gun, I don't trust it now. So I'm not going to do with that. Uh, use that. And... Automatic. Oh, go, oh, oh, whoa. You covered some ground really fast. I know you're supposed to be faster now, but that was uh, a little bit more than I thought. Are you speeding up yet? No, not yet, huh? Ooh. I thought I was about to sing a second time, too. He said I just leaned back again. Another notebook. Excellent. Excuse me, my friend. Let me get this off of you, and... Oh, I got some room now. Nah. Don't need it, though. So after this, I'm gonna probably skip the room down here. We'll do. We'll go through here, here, and here. We're almost just about done. I hope that when I'm done with my little run, though, I have enough for the dual Berettas. Hopefully, it's the entire reason why I'm doing this. I don't get the dual Berettas. I mean, I've wasted a lot of guns already, no matter what. But whatever, man. I want to say I just had the dual Berettas, even though I used up way more guns than you really should be using to get Berettas. But let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Ah, uh, let's just drop one of these heels, because I'm too lazy to go back to the old body body. 
Now let's see if this guy was guarding anything good in here. Hopefully he was. I'm just looking for the special drops at the moment. Give me five notepads. How about that, huh? <laughs> you feel like gave me five notepads? Go for it, man. Do it. How about no notepads, Falcon? Okay, well, thanks a lot, Kefir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Now, this one's kind of annoying because you have an abomination, an exploder, and a couple of biters, too. Ooh, I'll be honest with you here. I don't like to play around with this one. I am just going to have automatic weapons all around. I ain't going to risk it with this here. This is very annoying. I'd like to have some heals, too, to be honest with you. Is this going to do it? I hope so. Okay. Not to mention I'm scared about the Exploder now, because he blows up even when he shouldn't be blowing up now. Uh... Is it safe? <laughs> uh, is it safe? Why didn't this Exploder blow up? Yo, dude. Don't, don't trick me, okay? Don't troll me. Wow. That's kind of weird that exploded and decided to blow up. They always decide to blow up when they're about to die. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. Well. Didn't blow up, didn't blow up. I'm fairly surprised. Take that. I'll pick up the gas oil later. Yeah, that was scary. Like, I was just like, I don't want to go to that body because I know if I get near, suddenly parasites will show up. Like, they killed me last time. Alright, so we're done here. We just have one more abomination. I think it's an abomination in the hallway. And then we have Exploder, and then we open the shortcut, and we're practically done. We'll go ahead and turn the stuff in, and hopefully it's enough for the dual Berettas. What's over here? Oh, no, they made him an Exploder? No? Abomination? It's an Exploder. Honestly, you can just skip this guy if you're worried about the Parasite stuff. You can skip him all together. You can open the door. You can just walk by him. I will only kill him unless I'm missing items. So right now, I'm going to go and open up this shortcut. Even if you attack this guy here, he will not trigger. But... Hmm. If he does the parasite thing on me again... It could be problematic, because I can't run. If I run back, I'm gonna run into this guy. Huh. I'm actually a little bit terrified now. Because <laughs> of that weird glitch that happens. It could happen right now, for all I know. Don't trust the parasite and the weird explosion bug. So, let's go... Uh, you and you should be enough. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot it. Shoot the... Shoot the Exploder, man. Okay, let's get away. Let's get away. Let's get away. He's not gonna stop. Boo! Hiss! Boo! When any luck, though, maybe this guy decides not to blow up like the other one, too. It's not to deal with the parasites afterwards. Would be nice. Don't see it happening, but it would be nice. Get away, get away. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm terrified now. I'm not sure what's going to happen or not. Okay, luckily this one didn't release anything, but of course it didn't drop anything either, so... That's just as upsetting. But now at least I have, um... Kind of a way to run through. Okay. Yeah, I know. You're gonna probably get a hit in there. That's fine. Maybe even two. Not three, but two I can see two. Oh, only one. Lucked out. Oh, oh, oh. Five damage, huh? I'm not sure if I want this gun for next time. Because five damage is fairly low against this fellow, especially when he's about to blow up. Don't release anything, you scumbag. Oh, a dog tag. The lamest drop imaginable. Alrighty. We are virtually done. I don't think I could shoot the last Frenzy Giant through the fence. The electrified fence. I don't think there's like enough range. I'm gonna give it a try. I've never tried it before. Oh. Oh. Go ahead. Go for it. I don't mind it, man. If I could just not deal with that guy altogether, it's fine by me. Can I shoot him through the regular... No, not the regular gun. It's gotta be a little bit of range, huh? Okay. Well. Oh. Excuse me. There you go. 
And finally, a spitter. Oh, God. Let's go to melee finally, huh? Remember when we used to use melee for the bunker? I do. It used to be nice to use melee weapons. Not anymore. Okay, stop getting- stop bugging out. I'm telling you to go left. Alrighty, let's see. He didn't drop anything. Got my shortcut opened up. Uh, I'm gonna probably take damage here. Oh, yeah, I'll leave five. Notepad. Alrighty, I'm gonna go upstairs right now. We're gonna find out if we have enough for the dual Berettas. If not, then we might have to kill a couple of extra roamers here and there. And that is nice to see. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't care about that damage at this point. I care about all the guns I've lost here. So let's go back up here. Come on. I hope this is enough. We were like at one-third of the bar filled up. I'm not sure this is gonna be enough. I hope so, but if not... Ugh. I'll probably cut out and I'll cut back in once I have the dual Berettas. Alright, at the moment of truth here. Nine. Seven. Oh my god, we're so close. We still need a few more. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut off here. And I'm gonna cut back in one psalm. I have enough for the Berettas because, you know, at this point it's just basically cleanup duty down in the floors. Alrighty guys, so let's see if I got enough tickets now or enough tickets, items, whatever to get this happening. So near close. Oh! We got it, finally! Dual Berettas, next thing will be another floppy disk. In case you're wondering about this floppy disk, you guys sent me a picture on Twitter about that. And it sent you to another location. Um, in that crate, the only good thing you get is the circuit board. Everything else would be just like, you know, a couple of drops here and there and like a handgun. Like, the person who sent me that picture compared it to like the green ticket box from the bunker. The only good thing that I saw in there was the circuit board in case you're trying to make the acid bat. But um, this one right here, barely disappointing, so it's up to you if you want to spend all the guns for that. I'm probably stopping here. I wanted to get these Berettas just so I could have them, so I could say I have them. At this point, I'm going to probably wait until they maybe, hopefully, work around hard mode to not make it such a, a big gun expenditure, really. Because, my god, I can't even begin to imagine all the guns I went through to kind of get this done. But it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh yeah, before we go, we should probably... Check this out. 25 damage compared to a regular handgun. 20. Attack speed, 3.3. Attack speed, 3.3. All that work for a handgun with 5 more damage. Is it worth it, you ask? <laughs> I think you know what I feel about that, but there you go. Dual Berettas. Oh god, I want my guns back. <laughs> I will catch you guys next time.